Hey there, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a plot inside another plot in Matplotlib. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the coding. So guys, first of all, we need to import mat uh, matplotlib dot pyplot splt. Now the next thing is we need to make a figure object. So fig equal to plt dot figure and this is it now let's also use uh, let's do this and we will use figure dot add underscore and we will use subplots so in subplots we need to pass a three digit number or you can pass three separate digits uh, but i'm going to just do this one 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 i will tell you what it is going to do or how this works now i have done this what i'm going to do is access dot plot and i'm just going to plot some values so let's take one two three five let's do this if we'll see this we have this value okay now let's suppose you also want to uh, display some other values but you do not want to create another plot here so what i'm going to do is x ax or uh, yeah ax2 is equal to fig dot add underscore subplot and let's give two two and one i will tell you what these numbers mean so just bear with me and access two dot plot and let's take some oh i guess we need we should take some data so let's take x equal to uh, one dot two and one comma two two comma three comma four we need to give here x and now let's do x and p dot square x will so now what I have done is see we have this main plot here and we have another plot inside this plot okay and what I have done is this is the line that I have plotted here and the square of these lines I have plotted here okay now the question is what are these values so if you will check its plot now let's do fig dot add underscore subplot so as you can see here either a three digit integer or three separate integers describing the position of the subplot okay so these numbers are used to describe the position of the subplots now we have different and uh, so the first number represents r that is row the second number represents c that is columns and the p is the pth position basically the subplot will take the pth position on a grid so it is going to take a position on the grid let me just explain you so when i passed one 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 what it did is that it has only one grid basically it has only one row and one column this is it and it is taking the first position from there so i don't think there is anything to it now it has only one uh, if you have plugged on what do we say web development you must know how grid system works let's say like this then we have this so here we have single uh, row then or oh, here we have single column then we have two columns so similarly what we have done is we have said that we have two now for this plot for this plot we have said that uh, how should i put it so we have said that we have two by two grid so for the same position uh, for this position first it was only a single grid it has only one row one column so basically it was like this now i have added a plot and i have told it like it has two grid uh, two rows two columns so how it is going to separate it it is going to separate it like this and then i have told it to start from the first position so this is the first position 
now if i want it here then i need to change the third number so let's change it to let's say 4 and as you can see here now we have this here i hope that you understood it and if you want to get it out of this you can also do that so let's just do this 3 3 is here then if you want it again up then you can do that also so this is how you can add your or you can add a plot inside another plot now if you want as i said earlier if you want them separately then there is a technique that you can use so let's do some things so let me just rub this all the data might not look good but i will just i want to explain it to you so i will say that i want to have only i want to have two rows but one column okay so i did it wrong and it should be like this okay and now let's start it from here. so now what i have done is i have told it that i want only one row or you can say one, i want one uh, one column and i want two rows so it is taking the space of only one row uh, one column and it is taking a space of two columns and then what i have done here is i have said it like okay i need two by two space so again it was separated like this and then i want it on the second position so that's why it is showing here so i hope guys that you understood how you can add subplots or how can you use a subplot function and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video